everyone, it's Allie here from alliesblog.ca. I know I haven't done a video in a little while, but things have been pretty busy. Um, so I am going to do kind of a bit of a haul today and I'm gonna share my mani box from October. Sorry guys, it's a little bit late, but I did actually get it pretty late into November. I'm not sure when November's box is coming, so that might be a little bit later. I have not received it yet, so um, we will see, I guess. Um, but we're going to start with the My Manny box, and then I'm going to share with you some of the stuff that I have got from the past two polish pickups. So that will be in this video as well. Um, I'm also waiting for my Black Friday stuff that I got, so I will be doing another haul shortly. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We're going to get straight into this box. So this theme for October is Gothic Beauties. Um, this is for October 2019. Alright, so pulling out the card first, um, like I said, it is Gothic Beauties for October, um, and then it shares with you all of the different things. Um, oh, did I miss that? Hopefully I didn't. Um, there was a code on the top there for me, but I am going to show you what's in here, sorry. Alright, I'm just going to pull it all out and then we're going to share it. Everything is very glittery in this box, so um, I will start. I have a scraper from Beautometry, and then here, I have two things. Alright, so the first one I got is uh, a Muyu London nail lacquer. This is called Rock Candy. I believe this is a stamping polish. Let's look at it. Oh, I actually kind of like that color. I don't have anything like that. So this is Rock Candy from Moody London. I'm needing more stamping plates, or sorry, stamping polishes, so that is good. And I actually pretty li like, I like uh, Moody London stamping polishes. They're, they're pretty good. All right, so that one, and then we've got a Moody Latex Cuticle Guard, and this is in Watermelon. Um, so it's for around your nails. I don't always use these because I find, I don't know, they just, I don't know, I don't always like them. Like I find I don't have time to wait for them to dry or they don't peel up very well from your skin so it almost isn't worth it. So I'm interested to see if this one works. Um, it is a cuticle guard and it is pink. It smells like watermelons apparently. All right, and we got a bunch of glitter pots, which I don't tend to use very much, but I will show them to you. Um, there's no name on these, so I've got an orange glitter. Oh, that might be why it's cracked. Um, and there I've got a dark pink, another pink, and a blue glitter. So that is all of those. Um, those are, sorry, those are glitter pots from Unometry, and they are two dollar, two glitter pots, two dollars, I think I was only supposed to get two. Sorry, I've been telling you what the prices are. The watermelon cuticle guard is $9.50, and the stamping polish is $9.99. And then I've got two, um, stamping plates. So I've got the gothic one. And this is Raven. And that is what it looks like. And that is a 08. It's different. Um, this one is, wow, 1998? Really? I'm hoping that is an error because normally they're 9.99, but um, this is another Gothic one. And this one is also called Raven from the Gothic Girl. And this is what it looks like. So that is number 10. Very different. I'm not sure if I'm really super excited about this box, but I will try some of the stuff out and we will see how it goes. But I'm going to move on to what I got at the Polish Pickup. All right, starting with October's Polish Pickup. Um, the theme I think was, I think this was the fantasy one. Alright, so maybe that was the last one. 
No, that was the last one. I can't remember what October's is. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm a little bit behind. Um, if you don't know what the Polish pickup is, basically every month they have a theme and all like indie brands come together and you can buy all of their different polishes that they have based on that theme. Um, it's usually for like four days. So it usually starts on a Friday and it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday is the last day and you can buy their polishes and there's usually like a certain quota that they put into this polish pickup. Um, they just had another one a little while ago for December which actually ended up lasting a week because they changed it up for this month. Um, but yeah so you can buy different polishes from indie brands that you may have never been able to try before or they might actually never ship to where you live. Um, it's actually a pretty, I always end up spending quite a bit. Um, but yeah so I got a bunch of different polishes from a few different brands that I've never tried before so it's really exciting to try them and they're always based on a theme that you vote for um, every month so yeah I really like it um, but I will leave the link down below so you can check out the polish pickup they have an Instagram and they also have a Facebook page and they also have their website where you can buy the actual polishes but it's only once a month and it's only for four days so it's best to go right on Friday because things sell out pretty quick and you can do a wish list beforehand so then you can just buy those um, and it's quick. So anyways, let's get into what I actually bought. So the first one I got is from Great Lakes Lacquer and this one is called Nessie. So it's kind of like a emeraldy kind of green, kind of tealy green. So that's the first one I got. Then the next one I got is from Painted Polish and this one is Scotchy Scotch Scotch and this is an actual, this is an effect topper. So you'll put this on top um, of stuff. So it's like a gold kind of bronzy topper. I'm a sucker for the flaky polishes. So obviously I had to get this one. And then next I got, I've never actually tried the Glisten and Glow um, top coats before, but I've always heard great things. So I got the base coat and the top coat. So the base coat is the sticky, long lasting stain prevented it, pre stain preventing polish and then I also got the top coat so this is the clear shiny and fast drying so those are two I noticed these have a strong smell I don't know if all of them do but these ones have a pretty strong smell and then the last one I got is from Femme Fatale and this one is called Marrow and this is from yeah October 9, 2019 and then it's kind of like a purple, like blue, and it's got lots going on in there. Alright, so that is what I got from the October polish pickup. Now I'm going to show you what I got from the November polish pickup. Alright, so I got a few different things. I believe that this one was the fantasy one because it kind of goes with fantasy, but I can't remember. I'm sorry. Alright, let's start with this one. So this is an Elsa's Magical magical bomb and it's got rose hip, castor oil, sweet almond oil, rice, bran oil, grapeseed oil, vitamin E, um, soy wax, and fragrance. So that is from Inspired Scents. So it's kind of like a healing balm and I really wanted to try it and I, I actually really like it so far. Um, it's kind of like a smooth and then you put it on. It is a little bit oily obviously from all the oils but it feels nice on the skin and it has a nice scent to it and I've been liking it so far. Alright, moving on with kind of cream sort of thing. So next I got um, this duo here. This is from Miss Michelle's Creations. Um, these are from Maleficent. I got a body frosting. So that one is this one here. Um, and it's like that. It's kind of like a, a cream. Also smells really, really nice. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, so I thought I would try it. The stuff sounded pretty good. And then I also got um, a sugar scrub. And all of these are vegan and cruelty-free. And that's what the sugar scrub looks like. I thought it looked kind of neat. It's kind of like, I don't know, like, like a frosting kind of. It looks filmy. I don't know. I like it. It smells good and it looks cute, but that is the sugar scrub. So I got those two products from 
Miss Michelle's Creations. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. Anyways, so next, moving on to more polishes. So I got this polish for days. Um, this is called That's How You Know. I really, really like this one. It's like a turquoisey shimmer and it's gorgeous. I really like this one a lot. And then next, I had to get this one from Ethereal Lacquer and this is Under the Sea. I love this one. This I am so glad I bought this one. It is gorgeous. I'm actually getting another one Ethereal Lacquer in the next one, I believe. And then this one here is called Flying Past the Stars. I haven't tried this one yet, but it's kind of more on the green side. Yeah, so that is everything I got from my mani box and two polish pickups. So that is everything for today. As always, thanks for watching and please subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.